it is Elric's turn. We left off uh, mid-initiative. Okay. Um, Haley will just lay on hands himself. Um, just give me a sec. It's it's uh through it's uh d6 per half level, right? Yeah, it's d6 for every two levels. I've had his macro wrong the whole time. Plus his uh, charisma. And that would be his current charisma. Yeah. So, first one. How do you have it wrong the whole time? Uh, he was rolling 2d6, not 3d6. Ah, that'll do it. Yeah, no, no, I only noticed it when Kenny's character was doing it. Or cohort. Um, um, that's it for him. He'll just come up to me. He he takes a swift action and then moves ten feet. And that's his whole turn. There's nothing for him to really do here. Okay, that's totally fine. Is the uh, crystal doing anything? Uh, it's not. I it can't. It can't see. <laughs> uh, okay. Actually, it will blindly uh, move forward because it's a hero crystal. Um. So five, ten. There you go. Is it just rolling on the ground? Uh, it's uh, it can self-propel, so yeah, it's, it's like it's floating around and it's yelling charge in its own language. In its it like own, un own unique language that nobody um, else understands. Yeah, the <laughs> um, it's a golden crystal. I I have the portrait changed on characters, but I'd have to. Click and drag the model, and then make it smaller. I was like, yeah, it'll be okay. Do we know it's yours? Have we seen this before? Um, yeah. Damn. He uh, he we're threw tired. it from his pocket. Fine. Yeah, when you guys were fighting the shadows in the other hallway, he threw it into the room. Fine. It also sounds like him. So. <clears throat> it's okay. The, it's the thing I'm telling you to get on your Sionis's character. I'm working on it. <laughs> Uh, Yinwick, you can count down your timer one, and then we're on to Corey. Somewhere far away, you hear yelling. I can't hear anything. They're far under the ground. Somewhere very far away. You don't hear yelling. Exactly. Wonderful. Have you guys seen uh, Men in Tights? I think so. No. Oh, a long time awesome. ago. 90s Robin Hood movie and there's a scene in it where a uh, character runs up and he's doing the Home Alone thing and he says his bit and then when he's done he smacks his face, screams and runs away again. <laughs> Absolutely no reason to do any of those things, just was the meme of the time. I, uh, I saw it once but I don't remember much about it. I saw it in theaters and I owned a copy of it. I think I still I got it on DVD too. It was on Netflix a little while ago, like within the last year. At any rate, uh, what are you doing, Corey? Uh, I will move forward so I can see. Um, is everything in here dead? No, Aaron's alive. Uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, so that's 20 feet of movement. Alright. Um, Corey's got Holmesian intelligence, so I think he's gonna put together that Sorrel probably bamped out with teleport. Um, actually, I, did he mutter it's a, a verbal cantation to do so? What is? Uh, did he, in order to, like, go to, was there a, uh, a verbal component to teleporting out that Sorrel cast that he would do? No. Okay, then I'd be confused, but assume likely met the friend. Actually, he'll ask. There are people here. Um, what's the Elka? Asking us? Yeah. Well, we don't know. He just kind of disappeared. Um. All right. So there's equal chance of invisibility. Is there's teleport, but I don't got range stuff. I will so. mention that I have a scene visibility up, and if he was in this room, I would be able to see him, but I cannot see him in this room currently. Okay. Corey will snatch his yelling crystal back into his pocket. Uh, there isn't 
pretty sure there isn't a dodge act. Oh, there's like, there's, can I, it's a full round action to total defense. Um, there's a very strange component. It, can I fight defensively by striking the my crystal with my fist? That's rude. Um, technically no, but I don't have any problems with you saying that that's what you're going to do as you're ready to action or uh, full round action. If you just want to stay hyper vigilant, it just means Got when it. your turn comes up, that's what you're doing. Isn't the total defense action a standard action? Total yeah. defense is a full round, I think. Um, That's a standard. Um, well, unless we changed it. I have no idea. Look it up, but I'm pretty sure total defense is a full round action because you can't attack. Fighting defensively might be a standard action. Yeah, fighting defensively is a full round. Uh, fight. Oh, uh, on the SRD it says standard. For both? Uh, for total defense it says it. Uh, fighting defensively. Uh, is also a standard. Yeah. They both are. Total defense, you can take no attacks whatsoever, but you get a higher armor class. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I just thought it was a full round action. I mean, so. it essentially turn. It essentially is. It's a, f it's a move, yeah. or it's a standard start, but you can't do anything else other than move. And that's my turn. So add four to my AC. Okay, well, uh... I assume it's my turn. I assume there's nothing visible there. I'm just going nope, to... Nope, you can't see anything. No, that's fair. I'm just going to take the guess. I'm going to move over here and I'm going to open the door. I'm not letting him leave. So, yeah. No, I understand. Can I make a perception check for undead okay. rambling? I put here... Mm, no luck. Okay. So that's my turn, I think. Okay, then we're on to Tom. Alright. I will... Man, it's been so long, I don't remember what's behind us. I guess I'll just follow the big guy. Behind you is the hallway you fought the shadows in. Beyond that is the T, where you went into the treasure room before you went into the hallway with shadows. And obviously the room behind that is the one where you had the huge fight with the uh, skeletal mage that was teleporting all over the place. Um, and the time-hopping ghouls, I think, gas they were. Time-hopping? Yeah, I think uh, Corey sent them into the future. Oh, right. Ghouls keep on slipping, slipping, slipping. I think, like, the, the way it works is, like, I send them into the point of time that they come back. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah. But for, but mecha for, for yeah. mechanical reasons, you send them a round into the future, and then they save, and then you send them another round in the future, and they save. Yeah. Alright, uh, that ends my turn, uh, and there are lots of baddies in here. Are they alive? Well, no, I, I think that's hurt. the room we, we killed everything in. Uh, they're unalive. Fair, okay. They're, they're undead. Okay. Cool, good to know. I don't know how I did it. But I was um, putting in uh, the CR6 ghouls for the uh, another encounter. And I looked at the hit point total. I was like, how do these ghouls are only like twice as tough, have like three times as many hit points? And apparently I just looked at the wrong sheet when I put the hit points on the ghouls because they're supposed to have 20 more hit points. That's... I must have just looked at the like CR four yeah. ghoul or the CR three ghoul or the four hit die ghoul, something like that. That sucks, but cool. Not a big deal. For you guys, twenty hit points really isn't that much. Fair. If you kill it with a single blow, that might be significant. But nine times out of ten, you hit it twice, and the second hit is ten times more than you needed. 
<laughs> so that that ends my turn. Okay. Wait, did we just get to him? No, he just went. We're good. I, I just went and told you guys that there's undead in here. Oh, yeah. okay. So, roll initiative? Yeah, you can roll initiative. I was just looking up, uh, deciding what I was going to do. Fortunately, you just stepped into the room, so he knows where you are. You say these words. I feel like you don't know the meaning of half these words. I don't know the meaning of some of these words. Fair. Okay, so maybe there isn't a bunch unless they, unless they just left. No, I just stuck them all in the wall because they're all dead. Oh, they still had hit points and stuff, so... I guess there's only one guy in here, guys. One of them was a shield, one of them was stone skin, and one of them was the dead mage. So no, <laughs> well, the, the other one out. was aghast with minus 20 hit points. Yeah, I knew that one was dead because it didn't have any hit points. But I think you're about to be correct, though. Somebody keeps killing things and not Xing them out. I'm trying to get that out. Kind of. Yeah. Pretty sure Yinwick teleported to the top of these guys. He yeah, he's long gone. Yeah, I just, I just yeah, kind of moved myself to the corner. You can move him like along. denoted as a corpse on the map. So Jinwick is a champ. He's got this. He's taking a, a brisk stroll through the forest. Very brisk. So okay. Uh, Corey, or, sorry, Aaron, you're up first. Uh, well, I guess I'm just going to move in. Don't forget the doorway's double movement. Yes, come in. Shield me from the mage. <laughs> uh, we do not have. Yeah, so my movement would be. Uh, ah, I guess I should not have used all my movement at once. And I see a mirror image. Yes. Okay. Well, that makes it easy. I'm just gonna charge him. Uh, I guess I'll just roll a d20. Uh, no, I guess I'll just actually attack. Fine, why not? Uh, and takes out one, I assume? Uh, if you make your will save. Oh, it's fancy. Can I see? That is a save. DC's 24. Damn. Uh, so four. So wait, why doesn't your fancy cleave cleave through the mirror images? Um, improve mirror image. When you hit the image, you have to roll a uh, disbelief check, which is a will save. If you fail the save, then you hit it, and it reacts like you uh, hit the real mage. No, I mean, doesn't he have some sort of cleave feat? Yeah, but he uh, Oh, yeah, if you hit it, you get to make another attack. Sorry. Oh, can I do that with insta-cleave? I don't have No, you can't do that with insta-cleave. Yeah, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure how that worked. I, I always forget. He doesn't actually have cleave. Yeah. Marath has cleave. Yeah, he likes it. Uh, yeah, that is my turn. Okay, Fury, you're up. Uh, move there. There's my character. I'm going to do a positive energy firewall this way, facing out this way. Mm. I will draw it. Looking up damage. You're doing a positive energy firewall facing you guys? Yes. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
then I will do all the damage. 2d6 plus... Never mind, it does not do any damage to him because I didn't put it it's on him. Just gonna move that over. So I'll just cheat. Well, I was trying to hit him with it. That was my entire goal. Okay, does he just take the damage or does he get a will save? Uh, no saving throw. He just takes the damage. Okay. So it's 2d6 plus caster level. Then he will attempt to counter that. That's an immediate, right? Yep. Interesting. And I counter his counter. With what? My own counter spell from Mistra. I don't think you can counter a counter spell. Uh, uh, what level is counter spell? He's using dispel magic. Because I can uh, once per day media counter any spell of your level or lower. Yes, but you can't do that while you're casting the spell. That's true. Unless you stop casting the spell, but then again... Then if he stops he, casting the spell, yeah. then the spell isn't there and the problem's solved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, either way, that works out for his favor. Yeah, right. <laughs> now, if, you ca if you stop casting your spell and counter it, it's a moral victory. <laughs> yeah, you've so, won in your mind. Well, let's see his dispel check. Or take 50 points of damage. 50? A wall, of, a wall of fire doubles damage against undead. Damn. Doesn't it have a cap on damage? A uh, cap of plus 20. Yes. Oh, wow. That's pretty nasty. Does, yeah, and doesn't have SR or anything like that? Awesome. Oh, uh, yeah, he does have SR. I totally forgot about that. Again, Not I opened my mouth. Yeah, that definitely won't be a problem. Sorry, I'm just having a brain fart here trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. I am rolling the dispel check, and he rolls 13 plus 8 for his charisma. Against my caster level, right? Caster level plus uh, 11 plus caster level plus uh, bonus? Yeah, you use your caster level, a base of 11 plus your charisma and the level of the spell. Thank you. I'd actually fail. What's your charisma? Uh, it is currently 24. Okay. So that's one less than him. Yep. He fails. What's the six for? Uh, caster level, or not caster level, six is the uh, charisma plus the spell level, right? Spell level is not five. Oh, four, so it would be 38. The six is charisma. Okay, well then he will luck that up. I'll luck mine up. Okay. He has no positive energy resistance or anything? Uh, no. Yeah. Undead not prepared for life. One oh, of these days, we're gonna fight an undead that has a modified death ward that is a life ward. And then, uh, Jagat, you get 1d4 points of damage healing. That's a really good idea. Jagat, <laughs> you need to shut your whore mouth. You think I'd learn? <laughs> you really think I would? Jagat, you get 4 points of healing back. Thank you. Oh, sorry, I rolled, I'm missing the D. It's 2d4 with them. Ah. You get another 2. And that is it. I will 5 foot out of the tome. Consider it. 
uh, Elric skill? Uh, yeah. He will double move. And swift move. He can only get to there, and that's about it. All fire is nasty against Thundead when uh, when you're this level, or when you cast at higher level. Yeah, for sure. Okay, uh, then he will step back through the wall. Which I think is now an opaque barrier for him. Um, guys, you can step through it for a fuck ton of healing. It is opaque sheet of flame. So I just want to put on record here. I know for a fact the way Elver dies in this campaign, if he does, is going to be because he explodes from positive heal. I just want to put that on the record. I'm calling it now. <laughs> just wait till my healing spells do triple healing. Yeah, you're going to kill him. I'm calling this now. What level do they do? It? Does it triple heal? 17th level, your heals, or it heals them twice as much. This. Okay, then we're on to Yinwick, who can count down and back to Tome. Uh... Anybody for your care? Kare? Oh, um. Alright. So that wall's opaque. I can't see through it. Nope. Alright. He will move. And tell you he doesn't see anybody here. Get Far back. Set. Get back twenty five points of healing. I happen to be hasted this time around, do we? No. Are you done, Tom? Uh, I think I got a little more travel I can go. Yeah, okay, I can, get okay. I, can, I can get to the doorway. Say, guys, I'm not seeing them. And he said 25 points? Yep. How do you cut a pork shoulder that thin? Uh, you have you do a rolling method. Take the take the shoulder and you just slowly cut and you almost like butterfly it in sections. Oh, okay. I just thought you'd use like a meat slicer for it. No, you can't with a pork shoulder to get it thin like that. Okay, um, then we're on to Corey. Corey. Um, I, you know what? I'm just going to wait for Sorrel to come back. I'll cast Synchronicity on myself so that I can choose in the next round when I take my standard action. I'll call it that. Okay. One of these days, I'm going to have the presence of mind to just pour a bunch of flour everywhere we walk so we can at least track these guys when they teleport. 
<laughs> yeah, well, flower doesn't help you when you teleport. It's great for invisibility. Yeah, well, uh, that's... Is that a dimensional flower? We need something. There's a spell like track teleport or something. Yeah, I'm going to have to look into something. Okay, Fury, you're up. I uh, guess I'm just going to follow Tom through the wall. Let's double check. Not seeing anything here, and I'm going to just move my last 20 feet and call it there. And say, hey, we, Gary, you're still here. I, I imagine you'll come back soon enough. Okay, Aaron, you're up. Okay. Any other... I went through that door. Okay, he stepped over here. If he was intelligent, maybe he would go back here. But he has no reason to do... Does he have a reason? He was to go where? Well, if, if he teleported, then we might think he'd go this way, right? But if he was playing the long con, he might go outside of our vision the other direction. That's actually a really good idea. I didn't even think about the fact that uh, you guys have limited vision. Why do I... As I but, the, but, but the question is, does he... Would he know what our limited vision is? Um, it would be reasonable to assume the dark vision 60 feet, and that's how far you could see. And the room's 80 feet across, so if you got to the other side, he might be outside of your vision. Let's just do a quick double back, then go through that door. So let's do that. Uh, no. Well, let's just go this way then. So that was 20, I think, right? So... Where did you go? Oh, I. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you. You just went. You went through the wall of fire. Remember to add the twenty-five points of healing. Ah, yep. Um. If so someone, if someone in this party doesn't die from positive energy here in the next couple levels, I'm doing my job right. One hundred and five, and I get. The wall of fire is actually the best spell to use for healing. Because it can heal everyone in the party simultaneously, and it's a lot of healing. Yeah, I never even thought of that. Okay, I'll... You could heal here. a whole city with that. <laughs> I am so... Oh, oh, oh. Isn't it like 20 feet of level or something insane? Yeah. That's cool, actually. Like, you make a uh, wall that is... 50 squares long and you just have 50 people at a time walk through it and you have the healing thing that allows them to like cure diseases and stuff instead mm -hmm. i mean if you're gonna go through the effort of organizing an entire city to walk through a wall i mean he doesn't need to have everyone just like the sick right i mean just carry them through i mean is uh is is force a uh elemental effect an elemental no. Descriptor? Okay. The elemental descriptors are the four basic ones. The energy descriptors are the five basic ones, counting Sonic. Okay, just wondering. Yeah, I think force is the sixth one, so if you have one that gives you the six uh, energy types, force is the sixth one. Yeah, I mean, when it, my thing is when I cast a spell that deals energy damage, it the energy descriptor changes to fire, so my magic missiles would change. But I was just wondering for a spell like Wall of Force. Which... Yeah, if it's 
specifically based on energy, on elemental energy? No, it would not. Okay. Okay. Um, Corey, you're not doing anything, right? Uh, nope. Because it's coming to my turn, I was cast synchronicity again, so I get to choose when to take my action. He will cast Disintegrate on Elric. Oh. Your uh, fortitude save. All the are good at that, but they're also not really bad at any save. So. That is the wrong thing. Oh, that is, no. That is a super wrong thing. Doesn't uh, Disintegrate also require a range touch attack? Does it? Yes, it I mean might, that... but his range touch attack is uh, probably lower than the bonus. Uh, Elvric's touch AC is only 12, so... Well, it should be at least 14. Bash shield, remember. Oh, right. So it would be a uh, 16. But he rolled a 14. He is kind of fucked. Oh, yeah, if he fails the save, he's dead. What's the... Can I ask what the DC is to see if a luck would help? Probably not. Luck close. won't help with that, but I gotta roll my touch attack. Yeah, that's true. You can add three. Yeah, bye, it's a ra bye. range touch attack. Bye bye, cohort. You were wrong. It wasn't positive energy. It was the exact opposite. <laughs> yeah. It's not the Answer opposite. So Disintegrate's soon. not uh, uh, negative. Is it not? So he is plus six and four, so ten. And he can't do anything else. I mean, yeah, that's fair. So on a one through three, he'd fail regardless. So yeah. Oh! Oh my god! I was kind of hoping you were going to kill him so I could get a fire elemental cohort. What is wrong with you? <laughs> well, you can just change your cohort. That's true. Wait, why does the 3 auto-fail? Is there some sort of luck modifier? Uh, 1, 2, and 3 are auto-fail. On saves and attacks. My prayer is such a good spell. Wait, what? Yeah, if you roll a nat 3 uh, or a 2 on an attack or a save, it's still not a fail like a nat 1. You just don't have the minus five penalty if you do in two or three, but it still fails. Okay, that's quite a house rule. <laughs> yeah, the seventeen auto succeed. Or we just very, very sad, sad players. Nope. I mean, be happy. That's what? why he's he survived. It's, I mean, that's. I mean, it applies it's, to everyone, it's so it's yeah. technically not a debuff. It's just like I just hope. Oh, I just hope he fail. doesn't have luck. Yeah, he's used both of his luck. He only needs plus one luck to fix that. And I'm just looking to see if he has anything that he could use to do something. Alas, none of us were lucky. Yeah, I don't think he has anything. I'm looking at all of his abilities. And he has nothing that will alter that. He has no luck-based abilities, no re-rolls. Um, he doesn't even have a spell that he could have cast in advance to give him that. Funny thing is, I was considering using True Strike, and I was like, ah, he's not going to waste True Strike on uh, some loser in the hall, but even that wouldn't have helped him. Okay, well, he misses Elric with the Disintegrate Ray. That's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, right as he fires, Elric sneezes. Where does, uh, 
Oh, where did the canonical world preserve and see where it came from? Yep. Uh, it's wisdom, right? It's perception, yeah. Okay, straight d20. He rolls a three. Yeah, when he sneezes, he's looking in the wrong direction. He doesn't even notice the ray. <laughs> Your paladin has no ranks in uh, perception and no wisdom bonus. Yeah, because he made him charisma-based for spellcasting. This man... Actually, no, that makes sense if he's with the experience. I, I need, I had well, what you're saying for... is that I need to hit him with will saves instead of fortitude saves. I mean, yes. I mean, what else am I going to put the dump stat in for a paladin? You Anything need... else. What? <laughs> he needs strength. He needs con. He needs, like, int for uh, skills. He has ten wisdom and ten luck. Yeah, well, you <laughs> gave him all those skills and then didn't put any ranks in perception? The number one most used skill in any game? I uh, yeah, it's fine. I think Elric just needs glasses. Yeah, he does have goggles on. He needs right a now. brain transplant, is what he needs. Okay, well we're on to Elric. Do do do. Uh, he'll come up to me. I could. Oh wait, he does take damage on a fit on a. F oh wait, he didn't even get hit. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't make the save. If he failed the save and got hit, he'd be just ashes on the ground. You have to have like 400 hit points to survive. That's only 2d6 per caster level. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> that's 20... What kind of school? Oh, it's transmutation. Oh, that's only 24 uh, d6s, but that's still going to be 100 points of damage. Yeah, he would have died. Average, that's only what? I think the actual average is like 84? 70. At any rate, um, Yinwick can count down another round, and then we're on to Tome. So, Aaron, did you go past me or go around? The other direction. Did he? I think Aaron went past you. Uh, yeah, me, yeah. I, I went past you. <laughs> Alright. Um. So, just to help you keep the visual was my main idea. We don't see him from there. Correct. You didn't say anything, so... Correct. Correct. Maybe I should go back and meet you in the other room? You can do that. I'll catch up to you, yeah. Yeah, you know it's a long way around the other way. The question is, how many more times can you walk through the wall before you die? Oh, quite a few, I think. Remember, it's only half temp hit HP. Yep. That I did not apply to myself. I should do that. It was 25, right? Yeah. Yeah. But you were also wounded. Yeah. Yeah, 12 hit points would take you a long time to get to 120. Oh. I think I see him, guys. Wonderful. <laughs> he is not in the two rooms that are we just left. But I also don't think I can move to get him. So. Oh, is he oh, is he But I can move there. And that'll end my turn. Okay, then it's initiative.
is the Israel rerolling initiative as well, or keep in mind? No, he's rerolling initiative. I'm just setting him up. Oh, that's fine. Just when I thinking about my luck. Uh, Metro three fails on attacks. This these house spells are miserable for a martial character. <laughs> Um, Not really, because if you're a martial character and you need to roll at least a four, you would just power attack everything under a four. Yeah, and I mean, it also does help you when your martial has no AC, so there's at least a chance, a greater chance of not getting ruined by a troll, so there is that. Hmm. Definitely not speaking from experience, that would be weird. The funny thing is, I had exactly the opposite opinion of it when I started DMing, and I uh, originally put the minus five in there and made you able to hit on a one if you could do it with the minus five penalty, and it just spiraled out of control very quickly, particularly with archers, because they couldn't miss. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when you can't power, when you don't have a ranged power attack, and you're getting to, like, plus 40 to hit. There's no ranged power attack? There is a ranged power attack. It's just uh, there wasn't always one. I'm talking about back in uh, second edition when I started. Also, it doesn't DM work the same. It's like deadly aim, so there's a limit to how much of a penalty you can take. Yeah, there's a couple of different things, uh, different ways of doing it, but uh, the fixed ones are actually better. You just have you just stuck with a fixed number. Like, power attack in uh, Pathfinder is vastly superior to power attack in D&D, except that it's not variable. I have to take a minus three penalty, but I get a plus six bonus. Yeah. And my only choice is a minus Or a plus nine if it's two hands. Yeah, but uh, I don't get to choose one, two, or three. It's three or nothing. So if I, I'm on the edge there, I uh, don't have I any saves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, let's uh, go, Baker. Stay home. Let's hit home with disintegrate. If I only have one target, yeah, this is my last six level spell, so we might as well make it good. Oops, sneezes. Oh my God. That's actually <laughs> That is RNG Jesus telling you to sit down with that disintegrate. Well, I only took a five foot step, so I can still use a fast spell. That is insane. Yeah, that's not fair. I will hit Tome with a fireball. He has some, some stiff arms from all the years down here. Fucker, roll your save. <laughs> I can't believe I missed with two 6th level spells on something that I only auto miss on. Oh, we just solved Tome's uh, issues with uh, over hit points. I'm sure it does not come as a surprise to you that a nine is a failed save. It does not come as a surprise. <laughs>